give you an example of a disorder we study. It's called Rett syndrome. The gene, we know that single base changes in that is going to change sometimes an amino acid in that. Uh, and think of an amino acid in a gene as a word and an important poem, right? If you're going to change a word in a really nice Shakespearean poem, you're going to damage that. Uh, you know, uh, poem. So think of that. What may happen is the, the RNA and the protein product, genes makes RNA and RNA gets translated into protein and it's the protein that functions. The protein product is no longer the same and may, it may not function anymore the same. Some of these changes could either stop the transcription or making RNA and protein. Sometimes one amino acid change or one base pair change can kill the protein because it basically destroys the ability of the machinery in the cell to make a protein from the RNA. So that could be one, so you lost the function of the protein. Sometimes this protein binds DNA. Sometimes that one change will prevent it from binding DNA. Sometimes it causes a deletion, a piece of the gene is missing. So any one of those are going to affect the function of that protein. And that protein is really important for brain function. And when you don't have it functioning normally, you're going to start having features of autism, features of seizures, motor problem, coordination problem, breathing problems. So this is one example how a single base change can lead to a behavior because a neuron will not function properly. I'll give you an example. You've typed in a Word document, right? And then you send that Word document to someone, and somebody does one edit in it, but they didn't tell you what that edit. You do compare document, and you find quickly the word that's different. That's exactly what we're looking for. Think of our DNA sequence as our alphabet. It's, I call it the language of life. Think of it as our alphabet, and sometimes something goes wrong, either with one letter or with one word or with a sentence. Sometimes a whole paragraph is missing. Sometimes a whole paragraph is duplicated and so on and so forth. All of that we can uncover with today's technology, either by scanning the genome for big pieces that go up and down, deleted or duplicated, or by just single base pair change.